All right, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Shh. Now, good afternoon. Good morning. Welcome to Math 10C, Chapter 7.3, using substitution strategy to solve a system of linear equations. Now, today, we're going to look at solving stuff algebraically. One algebraic strategy is to solve by substitution. We use this strategy when one variable has a coefficient of 1. Now, most of you guys like graphing, and graphing is nice, mm. except when the points or the answers aren't nice whole numbers. Then you have a problem. This substitution strategy lets you find the exact decimal value. Now, here is a simple example. 2x plus y equals 3. Notice the coefficient of y is 1, so we can solve for y. Rearrange this equation for y, what do you get? Y. Write it down. Write out this equation, y equals. Oh. On your slate, please. Oh. On your slate. One. Write this out so y equals. Yes. Oh, you've got a frigid. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Close. Check it. Look again. Oh, Look. it's funny. Shh. So, how do you get rid of plus 2x? Mine. Yes, you subtract 2x from both sides. So, y equals minus 2x plus 3. And if you're going to write a minus sign, write it big enough, I can see it clearly as a minus. What did I just say? <laughs> it should be a minus. Now, this is. The beauty of substitution. Now, everybody, y equals. Now, I want you to note here, you've got a y in your second equation. So we substitute in our values. So this becomes 4x We do okay. this because sometimes graphing is a pain in the bum. You don't have your. Uh, there'll be questions when I take your graphing calculator from you and ask you to solve. Right. And when you try solving them, you'll get a weird decimal answer, and it's very hard to see on a graph. But it's a lot easier to see algebraically. Plus, some people prefer solving algebraically. Now, this is substitution. This y value we replace with minus two x plus three. Now. Getting to this point is a little difficult, but once you get here, what have you got? One equation with one unknown. Can you guys solve this for me? Well, solve it on your slates. What would your next step be? Uh, Wait, which one? Which well, what are we trying, trying to do? Like, which okay. form? Simplify. Simplify, thank you. Just simplify this. 4x plus 3 bracket minus 2x plus 3 close bracket equals 5. So if I ask you to simplify this, so yes. you put the common terms together? Yes. Okay. What would your next step be? So you add the 4x with the minus 2x? No. What? what? Uh, expand. What expand. Thank you, Haley. Uh, You've got multiplication, uh, division. Yeah, remember bed mass. Uh, Brackets, exponents, multiplication, division. Yeah. So. Don't have to do that. What's 3 times minus 2x? Oh, minus 6. Minus 6 what? What the fuck did you do? 3 times 3 is? 9. <laughs> OK. Now, what have we got? Did you actually? No, no. Should we put the x's together now? Yes. Okay. So well, you still want to multiply everything, don't you? Well, like, it's been multiplied minus 2x. Hey, well, hang on. Sorry, I've got two people talking. Oh, Taylor, you were asking first. Like, I'm sorry. Okay, so like, would you go with 4x times 6? Careful, that's like, minus 6. Oh, well, minus not 6, yeah. All right, like, so what's... 4x times 9, too? Like, well, hang on. No, no, this is... Hang on, stop. So there's, no multi there's no multiplication signs here. It's addition, subtraction. No, but like it's the same thing as... Because when we did the... Simplifying. Yes. Um, we had to start with the first one, and after we moved from like. But now, hang on, you're overthinking this. Now we're collecting like terms. You have four pesos, and you owe somebody six pesos, and you have nine dollars Canadian in your pocket. What do you have? Simplify this. Four x minus six x is. 
Minus two. Minus two x. Now how do I now plus nine? How do I get rid of plus nine? Minus nine. So two x equals minus four. Which form are we trying to do here? We're trying to simplify so it's x equals. We're oh, simplifying. X equals. Oh, okay. Divide by two. Negative two. You get x equals. <laughs> Plus two, I think. Yeah. Right. So, if x is two, if the two of you are going to sit there and disrupt the class's learning, you can go to the office. I just need a marker. Oh my goodness gracious! Now, getting back to this, I think x is two. Now, go back to one, okay guys? So if x is two, check my math. Did we do it correctly? Yes. All right, now, hint, what you have to do is go back to one of the original equations before you change it in case you made a boo-boo. Now I'm gonna arbitrarily say this one, two x plus y equals three. Plug in x there, and what do you get? What's y? Sorry? Solve for y now. x is what? Three. So 2 times 2 plus y equals 3. Can you solve that for y? Thomas, stop it on me, please. Would it be minus 1? I think so, but I need you guys to prove it for me. Yes. So, I don't know what it is. 2 times 2 is? 4. The, Two times two is four. Yeah, okay. Four plus y equals three. How do you get rid of four? Minus four. I don't fucking care. Minus four, minus four, so y equals? Minus one. So your answer is two comma minus one. Now, so what was the, so why did we go back and pick one equation? Because we solved for x here, but we don't have our y value yet. We need the x value and the y value. Yeah. So we, if we picked yep. the other one, we should have gotten there. Yes, yeah. you should have got the other one, but this one is more than multiplying. Oh, the, the I first see. top one is easier. I understand. Yes, I have this many fingers, so that's about how many I want to do. All right, so this is substitution. Now, here, this was a nice answer. We could have solved this graphically, but you will, and trust me, you will get answers that are decimals and fractions. That's a pain to read off the graph. You have to know how to do this. Now. Here's two equations. Now, I want you to note the rules here. Now's a good time to get out your blue formula sheet. This is what you need to know for today's lesson. Corinne? I think you have mine too. This is mine. You have two. So who's missing? That's my other group. Okay, well, here's just the formula. Thanks, Thomas. Hey, you asked for it. You asked for it. Shh. You asked for it. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. <yep. laughs> you need to pitch one. Oh, I have one. Right here. Look at it. Are you proud of me? I brought my own pencil to class. Uh, friend? Seriously, be quiet. I'm sorry. Alright. So, these are, this nicely summarizes today's lesson. What you have to do. Sick. So, four, four steps for this. First one. Which equation has a coefficient of one? Solve for that variable. Then you substitute it into the second equation. You solve for the variable and substitute and solve for the second variable. Now, once you get that copy down, put your blue formula sheet down, pick up your marker. You're going to help me with this. Can I write this down? Certainly. 
Oh, well, we're going to be doing. Oh, yes. We're going. I'll give you time. Oh, if you want to do this, fine. But we're going to do this on the slates, and you're going to help me. Yeah. Now. Yes. And some of you guys are getting it. And some of you aren't. That's why we're practicing. Now, look at this carefully. We need. A, we need one of the. Co one of the variables has a coefficient of one. Which one is it? Uh, X. Blue. The louder? Blue X. The blue X has a coefficient of one. So that's the first thing. Find that one. So we solve for that variable. So for this time, we're solving for X. So this becomes X equals what? Um. Write it. No, don't tell me. Write it out. X equals when you rearrange it. Just write it out in your slates and show me. Yes. 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 That's three people. Yes, when you solve for x, what's that mean? Think about it some more, Luke. Jordan, think about it some more. How do you get rid of 3 How do you get rid of 3y? Oh, get rid of 3y? Yes. I thought we were doing x equals. Yes. Yeah, is it? X in this instance so is x. You need x, x alone. So you have to get rid of the yeah. 3y. You got to get minus 3y. Yes. Um, With minus 3y. From both sides. Oh, minus. Yes. Oh, the why other plus. I think minus. Why is it minus? Because you're minusing 3 from the Oh, minus. okay. Yeah. Now, <laughs> here. Oh, I'm not sure if I did that right. I mean. So the second rule says substitute into the second equation. Now, note here we have an x in the second equation. So what happens when we substitute in? What does that second equation become? Can you write that out for me? Oh. Well, don't you have to combine the terms? Yes? Well, first you write up what the new equation becomes. This? I don't like this. So that's substituting into the second equation. Now, yes. Thank you, Catherine. Now what we have here is one equation with one unknown. That you can solve. Now, I've done enough work. I need you guys to multiply the, expand this, and solve for y. Tell me what y is. I'm so confused. Okay, so something like that. But hang on, you're getting ahead of me. No, 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 Taylor, hang on. You understand four things you got to do. Find an equation with a coefficient of one. Yes. Rearrange it so it's one x one y. That I'm about to explain. Yes. I refuse to, at this point, minus 3y, minus 3y. I really shouldn't have to write that in. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, what do we do now? Well, hang on. Is this good for So y equals. Well, keep going. What's y equals? <laughs> Did you actually? Oh, yeah. Well, I got a question. Yes. So that 3 used to be an x, right? The minus 3? Well, no. Shit is already no. Oh, sorry. No. Yeah. The minus three no, minus the top, two like the was the one. x from up here. <laughs> yeah. yeah we'll plus so where does that x go now? It, we substituted in not. this equation. X minus three y. X equals minus three y minus two. Every time we see x, we replace it minus three y minus two. Sorry, for it. I can't Well, you have to expand it. Hi, right, guys. Now, ex let's expand this out. We'll do a couple more examples. Minus 3 times minus 3y is. I told you. I didn't even do any of that. Minus 3 times minus 2 is. I was just like, yeah. and you were just like, well, it's like, 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 like,
Nine Y and five Y is how many Y? Now, what would I do next? Paul, help me out. Uh, you would go minus six. From where? From, from both sides. So now, the next step is, now, put, okay, so now you go. So what's y equal? You just zero. So what's y equal? Beauty. So what's y answer? Bracket zero. Oh, yeah, equals, equals, three times. So it's minus two. So how can y equals zero now? Well, what's 14 y? How do you get rid of times 14? What's 0 divided by 14? So y is 0. What's x? Because you want to add 0. Yeah, 0. 1, 0. 1, 0. 1, 0. 1, 0. 1, 0. 1, 0. 1, 0. 1, 0. 1, 0. 1, 0. 1, 0. 1, 0. 1, 0. 1, 0. 1, 0. 1, 0. 1, 0. 1, 0. Well, feel free to drop the dash three if you don't want to be here. That dash three. <laughs> dash three. Okay. Yeah. Dash three. Yeah. You can get hundreds in that. All right. So if y is zero, what's x? No college is going to somebody. Yes, choose one of the equations. So yeah, red or blue? Like blue. 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 Is it even possible? Oh my god. So what if y is zero, there? what's three times zero? Zero. Zero. Literally, what are you gonna get there? So what does x equal? Yeah, it's minus fucking two. Trash. Oh, really? Three, four, that should be minus two, uh, zero. Yes. That's solving by substitution. Once again, a nice answer. All right, so about a third of you guys have got it, about a third of you are struggling, and about a third of you are sitting there. Yes? She goes three times S, right? Like, because... Stop. Thomas, stop making those noises. There's, there's no, like, uh, there's no numeral in front of the X, right? It's so right. Like, so then you go three times X, which is zero. Three times Y is zero. Y is zero. But isn't three Y the entire thing? You have me confused. Like, three Y. Yeah. Three times zero is zero. X plus zero is minus two. Where do you get the zero from? Look, Y is zero Oh, okay. All right, guys. Now, let's try this again. Okay. Now, everybody, slates out, follow along. I want to see your work. So the one you start with is the gray one? Well, you start with one of them. Now, here, doesn't... Now, which one is... Hang on. Wait, no, it'd be the first one. I can stop. You can choose whatever you want. Start with what is the easiest? The purple one. Yes, thank you. So I was trying to say, why is it the pur why is the purple one the easiest? It's just a variable or whatever. Because Easy. it's, it's one x. That's why. It's the easiest one. So how do you know if you're looking for y or if you're looking for x? Which what's what's easier? Looking for y. In this oh, instance, crap. it's one x. In the last ex in the next example, it'll be one y. Now, here it just happens to be the x. Stop. As I said, you have to have the, a 1 in front of either the x or the y. In this instance, there's a 1 in front of the x. In another example, the 1 will be in front of the y. So, which equation is the coefficient of 1? This first one, the x. So I need everybody to solve this equation for x. Yes? But y is also a coefficient of one too. Yes, we could have done that, but it's what minus one, which means it's another step. So I'm going the laziest. Just a sec. Guys, shh. You did it right. Now, I want everybody to show me that equation written as x equals. Yes. Wait, is it that or is it a minus nine? Okay, sounds good. Uh, hang on, Corinne. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, can no. you show me that again? No. Uh, is that a plus or minus? Nine at the end. I can't quite read. Plus nine. Plus nine. Okay. Should it be minus nine? No. It's okay, Thomas, you've got two equal signs in there, which has me. Confused. Oh, Shiza. <laughs> <laughs> this is plus nine. 
Yes, yes. I don't remember. Yeah. Is it minus right. nine or plus nine? Maybe it's well, positive. Well, that's a change. Oh, oh, oh. oh. All right, guys. So, oh, it does. Is. Why does it change? Why does it? It doesn't change. change. What the frick? frick? All right, guys. What? Everybody. <laughs> I want to see. Thing. Thomas. Oh my God. I asked you, does it change? I didn't say, does it change? If you I actually pay you attention to me and right. shut up for more than well, one second at a time, you, you might catch on. I heard you incorrectly. That's all it was. Okay, everybody, show me your slates. Now. I only got this down. Okay. <laughs> all I wanted was this equation written x equals minus 3y plus 9. Now, I noticed four of you, thank you, wrote this as 9 minus 3y. Does it matter? No. No. Okay. Now, what's the next step? You substitute into the second equation. Where does the second equation have x? Four. Wait. Yes. I said it right. I said it right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you get to No, 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 look at it. So, everybody, solve the equation. Go. Shh. Would it be negative? Show me the work. I don't know. Okay. You get two and you get 1.9. That has me confused. Whoa. Hey. I did that right. Yeah, 1.9. 2.2. All right. Now, hang on. Catherine, show me that again. Here. It's two. I just found this. Okay. Okay. You missed. You minus one. Okay. You missed minus y here. All right. So. What? Okay. Okay. Help me out. What are we doing next? You. Sorry? Yeah. Tristan, what do you got? 26, are you 26? Um, Let me see what you got. Okay, keep going. Okay. Yeah, it's 10 minus 26. Good, keep going. Now, second equation, we have to multiply it. What is 4 times minus 3y? Sorry? Minus 12y. 4 times 9 is? 36. 36. Well, you add it to that one. Is positive one? Now, positive. how many wives do you have? Negative. Negative. Careful. Minus minus 12, minus, <laughs> minus 12y minus y is? Jordana, minus 12y minus y is how many wives do you have? 13. Yep. Minus 13y. Now. But it's minus. How do you get rid of plus 36? Minus. minus. Okay, it's minus 13. What did I do? <laughs> what does that equal? Why, what is up with you? I did it. What does y equal? Hey, I got a question. Yes? Why does the 36 get a variable? Like the x on it? Because it's 4 times 9. There's no variable to go with it at the beginning. Is there like 4x? I'm very fast. Yes, but 4 times minus 3y is minus yeah, yeah. 4 times 9. Expand it. So you can't Guys, you can only have a variable on the first one. The, var the variable was with the first one, so it stays with the first one. All right, guys. Oh. Camden, help me out here. Minus 26. How do you get rid of times thir minus 13? So y is 2. Now, we just solve for the variable. All right. So, Dorian, choose an equation, first or second, purple or gray. Purple or gray, choose an equation. Okay. Dorian said x plus 3y equals 9. Now, guys, we got y equals 2. Now, a bunch of you got a decimal because you made a math boo boo. You forgot about this minus y here. Be careful about that. Now, the fourth thing we have to do is. So, the fourth thing we have to do is solve, substitute and solve for the second variable. So y is 2. Can you guys tell me what x is? 
Three times two is? How do you give it a plus six? And then go minus six. Minus twenty six. Stop. Minus twenty six divided by minus thirteen is plus two, isn't it? Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Minus 12y minus y is minus 13. You are subtracting two numbers. You're not multiplying. So what does x equal? Three. So it's three comma two. Now guys. Yeah. Well, that's the problem. There's lots and lots of little steps here, and you make one little math boo-boo to screw everything up. So that's why I'm trying to get everybody to be quiet, pay attention, and work with me and show their steps. All right. So in, in theory, it's not bad. Now, here's one for you guys to try. So, right. so I want everybody, first thing I want you to do, is to show me to rearrange one of the equations so it's x equals or y equals. Which one are you going to rearrange so you have one variable all by itself? X equals or y equals? Behind you on the deck, front of the desk. Okay. So two people have shown me what the equation becomes. I want everybody to show me three people. Show me what you've written down. Careful. original equation. Oh, so yes, 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 yes. You have two equal signs. You have two equal signs, Dorian. That confuses me. Yes, yes. What did I do? You can have a I know I did something wrong. Oh, it's for you guys. Yes. Wait, where did I yes. Once again, you got two equal signs. It's confusing. Oh. Guys, everybody stop writing. Stop writing. Show me what you have written on your slates now. I want to see the equation you've rewritten. <laughs> Think about it again, Khalil. What did you write? Now, everybody's rewriting this one. You said add two y to both sides. Now, what do you substitute it into? Yes, the other equation. Where is the x in the other equation? No, Right here, that's three. I know. So keep going. Write it down. Um, three. Yeah. What's confusion? I don't know. You've expanded the multiplied number. Well, this is minus six. Plus 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 Minus so guys, one. show me your steps. Uh, four. 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 Works for me. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Yep. Are you calling this to this? No. I did it. Like, no. Look at this. I did it. And now we can do it. No, I did it. Because it's an ad. No, I was not doing it. Yeah, no thing. Okay. So. Good. Good. What did you get? Yes. Now. Yes. What'd you add? Okay, guys. Now, oh, fuck me. Most, of you, add six? most of you guys are showing me your work. Good. I don't know. So it's two. It's not one. Three, three times two, two y is? Three times minus two is? You get ten from when you add now, four. Now, you all show me this. What do you do next? Oh, I messed up. How do you find by uh, putting your y's together. Yes. 6y minus, no, I up. 6y minus y is? Uh, is 5y minus 2. How do I get rid of minus 6? Uh, add 6. 
No, I, I accidentally put a subtraction in there. Good. It's up here. I have to do okay. it there. Now, everybody showed me that not everybody did the next step. Yes, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, now, guys, shh, you're get. There you go. You're getting it good. Now, one last thing. As I said, the fourth thing, you've got to take this value and plug it into one of the original equations. Now, I said original. Two original equations are the purple one. Guys, the two original equations are the purple and the orange, not the rearranged. Because you could have made a math mistake rearranging this. You just could have. So you always go back to the original equations. You choose a, the original purple, the original yellow, uh, orange. Which one? I don't care. Which one did you choose? The purple or the orange? I, you flipped it around so I couldn't see. What? Yes, it is. Welcome to high school. I did it. Good. Yeah. Uh, Tiana, no, no, don't erase it, woman. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. All right. Oh. I didn't see which one. Which one of these equations did you choose? Purple. Okay. So, you can use the purple one. Plug in. This is what. What was I even saying? You're right. Change that. She did more than purple. There we go. Now. So, what's the next step? Well, first, you've got to be quiet so I can hear what you're saying. What do I do next? Yes. So how do I get rid of minus 4? Two. 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 Thomas, the two of you stop it now. What the? Look, I've heard nothing but you two chatter all lesson to the point I have to raise my voice to ask students to repeat their questions. I don't care. You two children, grow up, shut up, and sit in separate corners of the room now. So one of you gets to sit by Catherine, and one of you gets to sit down here with me. The first person up gets to sit by Catherine. Sorry, I had to My problem is not my fault. Okay. Now, Trina has 250 worth of nickels and dimes. She has 36 points in total. So, how many nickels does she have? All right. Now, now, here we have a table we have to fill in. So, you guys are going to help. Do you, do you mind if I she sits by you? So sit with Elizabeth. Here or or the office? I don't care, but yeah. I'm tired of listening it's to your voice. Okay. <laughs> Katrina has 250 worth of nickels and dimes. She has 36 points in total. Now, here we have to come up with the equation. Okay. Now, you guys have to fill in the table of values for me. So. How many nickels does she have? She has 36. Oh, no, we don't know that. Don't so what do you call the number you don't know? X. X. Or? Y. Y. Or? For nickels, what's a nice number? N. But well, it's kind of hard to remember though, for X and Y later. When you graph it. Well, you're not going to graph it. You're solving it out uh, by substitution. Now, what's the number of dimes? D. D. I know. D. Now, but we do know how many coins does she have? 36. Yes. Yes. So N plus D plus 36. We have the values. Yes. Now, that's the next set of equations. How much is a nickel worth? Five. Five cents. No. So 0 0.05 for each nickel. Well, a nickel is five cents. How much is a dime worth? 
Or 0 0.1 of a dollar. And that equals how much? 250. Now, now be careful. When you say 250, I'm thinking 250. So 2.5 or $2.50. Does this mean we have to learn how to I have to teach you about money. Yes. Well, here, empty your purse, show me all, give me all your money, and we'll count and talk about it. Now. <laughs> Two things. One, the person who click, click, click with the marker can stop that now. Is that you, Khalil, or is that you, Thomas? I'm not even. <laughs> Khalil, you can stop that. Like I said, I have no problem sending you to the. Shh. We have to have a chat whether you get to go with us on the field trip to Edmonton if you're going to have that attitude. Now, for those of you that do want to go to Edmonton, Here's our two questions, our two equations. Now, this one I wouldn't want to try graphing. Maybe with a graphing calculator, but not by hand on a sheet of paper. Yeah. So, what's the first thing we have to do? Well, we have to pick one, right? Pick one and? and so you have to, uh, well, I picked the first one. Find one. Find the coefficient of one. Yes, find one with a coefficient of one. So, so which one is the, hang on, the red or the green looks easy? Which one red, looks easy? Red. 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 All right, red. now, here's the big choice. It's one nickel and one dime. Does it matter which one we choose? No. Okay, who says we choose nickels? First one. Okay, who says we choose dimes? You can't vote twice. This is not Florida, woman. And for those of you that didn't vote, thank you very much. This is not Florida. So let's do nickels. What? What's with the Florida thing? Uh, I'll explain later. So what happens if you got two one values? It doesn't Choose. matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, so we arbitrarily said nickels yeah. Oh, monkey. Hit your ass. Okay. Now shush. So we arbitrarily said. Let me rewrite this. How many nickels and dimes are there? Uh, actually, this is for the point where you tell them to be quiet because they're actually disrupting the lesson. Now, I'm sorry, we said let's solve for nickels. So everybody rewrite this equation and show me solve for nickels. Come on. I said write it out and show me, not sit there and sing. And careful, you've got two can you get two equal signs in there? So we're doing the same thing. Do the exact same thing again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, I've noticed a bunch of you have gone ahead and kept on working. That's fine. Now, yep, that's fine. Actually, I think Khalil showed it to me again. I don't even know. No, careful. Check, look at plus and minus signs. How do you get rid of plus D? Subtract D from both sides. Now, so substituting in, what do you do? Every time you see a nickel here, you replace it with what? The yes. Sounds right. But I don't know what the answer is yet. So. I ran out of room, but this is the Okay. Oh, that's bad. So because this one, I erased it and it like smears all over. Yes, so I suggest getting, uh, uh, later get some of that uh, yeah, that's what I did earlier alcohol. Yeah, Yes. Well, the boards are also getting old. So. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. So, what's your next step? Show me. So Catherine, I'm sorry, what number did, did you show me the work you got so far? Yes, I can show you again. Zero point zero zero five. Yeah, yeah. okay, so, and, okay. So what'd you get for
different answer. Just show me. steps and so many little math steps, so many little equations you can make a boo boo line. Now, help me out here. Zero, 0 0.05 times minus d. Minus 0 0.05 d. 18. And eight, oh, 1.8, isn't it? Thank you. Oh, minus 86. Yeah, it's minus 86. I did this right. No, Dan, what did you get? The same thing you did. You got minus 86? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Now, hang on. Check my math here, guys. Show me what you got done. I don't care if you've done or not. Show me your work. In three, two, one. Everybody show me your work. All right. Okay, okay keep going. Now, guys, a bunch of you wrote up the table. Thank you. You don't have. You can erase the table and keep on going. Now, uh, what? 0, 5 is uh, 1.8. Okay. Now help me out here. What's my next step? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, simplify. Okay. Now. The answer is not 1.8. Yeah. Is that right? Is this the answer so far? Like, I'm not done completely there. But look, it, no, it looks set up properly. Um, okay. Now, that's right here. You have a calculator. Good. I got 4.2. Min minus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.1 is what? This is minus D and guys, 0. 0.05 D plus 0.1 D. I thought you were like that. Is it 0.5? Yeah, 0.5. It kind of goes like from here. Oh, I, 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 I got on the right track. Say something loud and I can't hear you. I got 0.5. Oh, now I got 0.5. Yes. I got 14. Yeah, I got that too. Now. You got 14 also? Yes. Yeah, I got 14. Thomas. Yeah. I've got 1.8 here and 2.5 here. How do yeah, I get rid of get plus 1.8? How would you get plus? Yeah, minus 1.8. <laughs> Me too. So what's 2.5 minus 1.8? Yeah. Uh, 2.5 minus 1.8. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. 0.05. Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. So what's the then, number of dimes? Then you divide by 0.05. Yes, yeah. and what do you get for number of dimes? Now, if D is 14, what's N? Now, as I said here, guys, you show me you know how to do this. It's just some of you are making little dumb boo-boos. And it happens. That's why we practice. Now, if D is 14, what's N? Nope. N plus D is 36. The original equation. What Dan is? You know, X and Y is when you you worry when you're graphing. No. And as I said, you could call it X and Y, but then X is nickels and dimes. So that's why I went N and D, because I know N is nickels and D is dimes. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. I want you to create a linear system to model this equation. Take us a salt. Tickets are sold to the senior safari day at the Greater Vancouver Zoo. This is Vancouver. No, this is grade 10 stuff that you're supposed to be able to handle if you actually quiet and pay attention. Is he talking so, to you? Meryl, oh, okay. Shh. Meryl buys five admission tickets and three train tickets. The Greater Vancouver Zoo is a little uh, train you can ride around from exhibit to exhibit. It's quite cute. She pays $65. Howard buys two admission tickets and one train ticket. He pays $25. What's the price of each type of ticket? Now, I need two equations here. What's the first equation? Okay. Can you have five? 
Five admission tickets and three train tickets. So I need two equations here. Yes. Hang on. That's two people to show me. Why are you erasing it? Oh, uh, too big. No, it's not. All right. So. Is this one? Yes. All right, so three people. One equation. What's the second one, Lucas? Lucas. <laughs> Lucas. Victim number two. Is me? 65. Yeah. All right, show me what you got written out. Yes, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Most people do. All right. Jordan and number two, Camden, Michelle, show me your work, please. And I forget. Thank you. Do you need to show victim number three, are you going to show me your work? And like I remember that far back? That's a long time for me. Catherine, show me your work. Guys, everybody show me what you have written out. Again, because I can't remember that far back. Brooke, are you going to show me your work? Brooke. What have you got written out? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, slates now. Okay, two of you didn't, three of you didn't show me your slates. Now, that's good. Okay, Brooke, thank you for volunteering to help. Thomas, keep on going. Solve the math. Now, here, you have to, shh, you've got, Corinne, you've got this equation, solve it. Now, what you have to be able to do is come up with an equation. So, five admission tickets and three train tickets, you pay $65. Now you have a choice here. 5A plus 3T equals 65. Or 5X plus 3Y equals 65. What do you prefer? Uh, capital A and capital T or X and Y? X. X y. Hang on, I'm asking Brooke. Now note it doesn't matter. I like A because admission T for train. But as some people pointed out, your T can look an awful lot like a plus sign and might, might confuse people. So, do you prefer uh, A and B or X and Y? Choose one fairly quickly, please. A and All right. So that means the other equation. Three mission tickets and one train ticket for 25. Now, okay. Now, guys, as I said, A and T are X and Y. I don't care. They're both fine. Keep, yes, keep solving. Now, so Brooke and Tristan, you guys didn't show me this, so you should have this, or at least you understand where this came from. Okay, now, the idea here, both of you copy out these equations. Now, show me. You should do the uh, plus one T. I would rearrange this to T. Minus 2A yeah. plus okay. 25. That's the way I do it. Okay. Now. <laughs> Sorry. So, Brooke? So, whenever it's a. Two, like, whenever it's a. Like, the A is bigger than the. Well, no. What we need is one of them. Variables has to be one. One of the variables is a coefficient of one or a one in front of it. We solve for that variable. So, yes, it already has one here. One train case, or one Y, or one X, or whatever you call it. So we solve for that because that is easiest. Now, Brooke, back to here. Don't do that to your slate. That's how it gets damaged. And you're supposed to have a rag to erase it. Please don't do that. If you're having trouble with this, ask for help. Don't sit there and damage this material. Now, Okay, guys. So. Sorry? Okay. Now, guys, you have two equations. So Tristan, help me out here. No, you're going to help me out. We rearranged this equation to solve for the one train ticket. So. 
Guys, I got guys. I have two people over here that need a, need a little help. Shush, please. So, my, what's my next step? I now know T is that. So I go to my other equation. There's my T. So I substitute in. So 5A plus 3 times, instead of T, I write as minus 2A plus 25. I could easily now, this looks complicated, but what I... No, no, no. Shh, look. Apologies, sir. What I'm trying to do is I'm here rearranging one equation, and I have one unknown, just admission price, or A in here. With one equation and one unknown, I can solve it. I have to multiply it out, combine right terms, blah, 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 blah. Nothing we haven't done before. So getting once you get to this point, it's just annoying. So remember, it was t, but t is minus 2a plus 25. This is substitution. <coughs> now, what's 3 times minus 2a? Sorry? 3 times 25 is? 3 times 25 is? Yeah, these are the answers. So we have now have one equation. Can I combine like terms? Yes. Five. It's right. Five a minus six a is yes, one. Yes, it is. Your admission or whatever. Is now I want to get my all my numbers on the other side. So how do we get rid of plus seventy five? Minus seventy five. Minus seventy five plus sixty five is. Wait. Minus ten. Okay. Double check with the calculator. Minus ten. Minus ten. Minus 10. Thank you, Ken, number two, or Jordana. Oh, it's I call her Jordana. I call you Ken. Just Haley, just Phoebe, Columbus. Did you get this? All right. No, I completely messed this one up. Minus A equals minus 10. Yes, you're right. Yes. You're talking about math, so I can't be mad. But Okay, so I'm going to say it. Guys? You feel more like you guys are Minus A equals minus 10. No. What's A? Minus 10. 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 If minus a not the sharpest equals minus 10, what does a all by itself equal? Uh, you actually talking about math, so I'm happy, but shh. Sorry, I'm loud. You're talking, yes, but you're talking about math and you're helping somebody else. That's good. Just give me a second. Here. A is ten dollars. So we go back, choose one of the original equations. Now, which one? Not anything we've changed because we might have made a math equation. One of the original two. Which one looked easier? The green or the blue? Blue. Okay. So that's two a plus t is twenty-five. So if a is ten. We substitute in a is ten. So can you solve for the price of the train ticket? Why? 20 plus T is 25. How do we get rid of the plus 20? Minus 20 for both sides. What is 25 minus 20? I don't know. $5. Five dollars. Just so the train ticket costs five dollars in the mission. I could you guys' class. Yes, someone's at the door. Hi. Hello. Haley. Bye, Haley. All right. Is that it, or is there another question? I actually, I actually was until like. Okay. Okay, guys. So. Now, one more word question. Did we get homework? Yes. You always get homework. I didn't do I do? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Okay. Now, last question. <laughs> Sasha invested $2,000, part of an annual interest rate of 8%, and the rest of an annual interest rate of 10%. After one year, the total interest was $190. How much money did Sasha invest at each rate? Now, this is an annoying looking question, but it's quite doable once you look at it and think. Now, here, do you want to do this as a table of values? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. no. Uh, All right. 
don't know what to think about you. Now, hang on. It's confusing. So, don't want to know. Okay, $2,000 prior to annual interest rate and rest of the Okay, now, what, how much money did you have? In total, $2,000. What did you do with that? Prior to an annual interest rate of 8% and the rest of the annual interest rate of 10%. Isn't it a minus, like 2,000 minus 8% and 10% to get 190? No. Oh, oh, that's, oh. Oh. that's what I want to explain now. Interest rates are always confusing. Okay, now 8% and 10%. Okay. That's now, this makes is a, hang on. This is actual real life. How many of you guys have a bank account, savings or checking or something? No yes. Man. And you get that, do you ever get that like five, five cents interest they give you at the end of the month? Something like that. Yeah. Well, this is how it's calculated. So, let's look at this. Now. <laughs> yeah, I heard that one. I don't want to know. Now, hang on. What? No. So, shh. Seriously. What was I? Now, okay. Now, what did you do with that $2,000? She had put it in an in interest rate of 8.5%. More specifically, Lou. Uh, she has an annual interest rate. I don't know. Well, I can so Hang on. No. What's the question say? How much money did Sasha invest? Oh, okay. okay. Well, how much in what was the information? Sasha invested two thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah, so that would be your answer for one. Oh well that's okay. And then part so wouldn't you do louder? Part? Part. Part. How much is that part? Do we know? Eight oh, no, percent. Yeah. It's, it's X. 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 Eight X. So X oh. so the two thousand X. No. <laughs> equals oh, part of it is X. <laughs> and part of it's Y. And the rest Plus Y. Yes. Now, I know. Here's the problem. You're going to see these interest rate questions, but they're confusing until you get the, the, the knack of them. Now, the thing is, she takes some of it, and how much does she invest it at? What's 8%. So that's zero. And the rest at 10%. What's 10% interest? 0 0.1. I got a quick question. Hang on. And what's the total interest she earned? So once you get there, that's easy to solve. Now, sorry, Luke. So how come we have to change the percent into a decimal? That's the tr that's part of the trick because percent 10%. Means, percent means of 100. Yeah, yeah. So how come we have to like, <laughs> we probably we did. use the whole number? It's just... Well, no. 10% is an old-fashioned way of saying 10 of 100. Yeah. So, so when I say 10%, that, writing that as a decimal is 0 0.1. Now, if you want to call that 10% times y, I'm okay with that. As long as you realize you go anywhere near that calculation, it's 0.1 y. But a lot of people get confused by that, so I just write it as 0.1 instead of 10%. So 8% is 8 of 100, or 0 0.08. It's always based off 100. Right? Yes, that's percentage. So I said, this is one of those things from the good old days when you bought paper by the square inch. It was an abbreviation we used. Now, we have two equations. We have to solve for x and y. Which we need either x equals or y equals. Uh, y equals. Okay, Luke says let's solve it for y. How many people want to solve for y? Oh, you always have to mess up my plan. All right, how many people want to solve for x? Stop voting twice. All right. What if we're like that? So Luke said solve it for y. So what should the equation look like? Y equals? What if I don't want to listen to Luke? <laughs> Actually, probably pretty good advice. You can solve for x equals and come up with the same answer. And I'm fine with that as long as you're quiet. So this is y equals? What's this equation? So it'd be y equals two, uh, x minus, no, minus, minus x, x plus 2,000. Like this, minus x. Okay. No, that's minus. Now, solve it, please. Do some substitution and solve it. I agree. Uh, 
Instead, that's fine. Yes. You got it? Show grab the homework and you can start on it. Yeah, it's set up correctly. Am I missing something? Um, well the answer. Got your work done and you should it's correct, you show it to me, I'll go, uh huh, you come up here and grab the homework. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, I 